Hello everyone, Puma Oblivion here. This is episode 20 of my uh, Let's Play No Man's Sky. Last time we uh, were doing some more nanite farming, but uh, unfortunately we weren't earning it in very good amounts. So uh, I have decided that uh, drastic times call for drastic measures. And uh, we have this, I have decided to go find a aggressive sentinel planet, build a small base, and then nuke the ever-living shit out of everything there. This ought to be amusing. So, at this point, I am going to, uh... Where is the... Where is my multi-tool? Alright, um... I need to get my exosuit here. We need to craft some more projectiles. Here we go. Now, I'm pretty sure there is no aggressive sentinels in, these, in this area. There is nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Yeah, this planet... It, yeah, this system is kind of dead. So, we're going to go to a different planet. We're going to go to a different system. And we're also going to find a uh, system that has aggressive sentinels. And, uh, a place where I can actually make a little, uh, base for myself and find a, uh, central pillar so I can use the shutoff feature of all the stuff. So, um, we'll, we'll find out what we can do here. Um, so for right now, okay, everything's running good. I have a tendency of accidentally leaving my mic muted. Uh, thankfully, I did not this time. And uh, while I am here, I'm gonna check this one right here. Sodium, oxygen. That phone can up. Oh, copper. There we go. There's some copper. I didn't want some of that. Okay, so um, let's take a look here and see if we can find a different, a decent place that uh is gonna help us out a little bit. Um, how about yeah, let's go there. Go there. Okay. Um, first thing I'll do. I'll look for a level of really. Alright. Um, we'll check the trade terminal here. Always grab oxygen. And what else we got here? Okay. So, at this point in time, we are now going to go and, uh, see if there is an aggressive sentinel planet here. a flame rupture plant that's high sentinel activity. Okay. That has high sentinel activity. That has high sentinel activity. So, um, yeah. So there's, there's enough high sentinel activity planets. That's for darn sure. Um, this one's high sentinel activity as a flame rupture planet. Now, what I'm looking for is a planet that would actually be not too horrible to, uh, to, uh, fight shit on. Um, this one over here is what? Uh, 
Oh, it's over here. It's one of the Isotopic. Ancient bones. Gamma root. Activated copper. Uranium. Oh, that's isotopic. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> that's isotopic. That means irradiated. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to see what's here. Contaminated planet. High sentinel activity. Is high sentinel activity, uranium salt, gamma root. I'm trying to see what this planet is behind that freaking thing. Maybe it's a decent planet that has enough. Uh... planet you know what we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go jump we're gonna jump out of the system and see if we can find something here uh let's see let's see if there's anything here minerals nano construction you know what? Let's go here. Let's go see what this is all about. Necrid Planet. Um, okay. Hot planet. Airless planet. Ah, swamp planet. With aggressive sentinels. All right. Okay. We may have found something. Now, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to create a base computer and make a little base before I do anything else. this way.
behind you, fuckers. Alright, Sensei, you have a good night.
Oh good, this means it should upgrade here. Yes. And if you'll pardon me, folks, I will be right back. Never gonna have a game without someone interrupting. I have a turn, folks. That's better. Uh. Okay, so um that was all sentinel stuff there. Uh how many did I get? Thirty-two? Well, damn, that's not too horrible. Um, let's see here. Oh, well, uh, I stand corrected. Forty-two. That I'm gonna discard because I'm not gonna be wanting that. So I'll just move this over here. That over here, that over here, that over here. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna quick transfer. Can I do starship stuff? Yes. Good, good, good. That's, uh, I can do cadmium. I can do that in my ship. Yes. 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 Oh, am I on the right side? Yes, I am. set there. Um, exosuit, we're all set. Um, we have all of this, uh, all this stuff. We have a total of 42. Yep, we have 42, uh, things here. So we're gonna start from this side. We're gonna extract components and see how many we get.
no boundary. <laughs> Love it. Though hard to focus upon, it shows the location of a nearby sentinel pillar. Oh, I love it. Okay, so, uh, we have a total of 16 breaking weapon, uh, the, uh, breaking weapon shards. Four, five, six, seven thousand nanites for the, all that. I am not going to argue with those at all. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to sell all of the weapon shards. Boom. 11k. There you go. And as for the other stuff here, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to scroll down to get my refiner. Uh, Geosidite is... Platinum. Yep. Um, 30 bronze. A sentinel boundary. Anomalous planetary location data. I don't think I can even get those yet. I'm gonna go check real quick. Interesting. So that is a very rare find. And also, I'm planning on using that said find because, well, um, we now have everything all loaded up here. And uh, hmm. uh, let's see here. Yeah, we do. We got all of that. We got plenty of room. Do this. Navigational data received. Sentinel Nest Reveal. just going to try and concentrate on this, so if I go quiet for a little bit, I am trying to focus. Because these pillars are no joke. But with me, I'm not going to land at the Sentinel Pillar. I'm going to land near Bob.
All right, so, um, base computer, gonna land it, come on, come on, mouse, wake up, wake the hell up. And we're gonna land it right there. Then we your base. Clear the base. I need to switch over to my my keyboard and mouse real quick because now I gotta make now I gotta make a base. So, our pants. Okay. So, this is... Okay, this will work. So, what else I need to do here is... Um, Landing pad, metal plating, ion battery, and microprocessor, 10 metal plating, microprocessors, and so 10 metal plating to each of the microprocessors. Okay. So. Now, the one thing I need is ion batteries. Alright, alternate, alternative lane pad. Right, so um, at this point, we now go mighty beam. Let's try hydrogen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to my combat. Blaze Javelin, Mining Beam, Train, Nuclear, Scatter Blaster, Pulse Splitter, and there's the Blaze Javelin. Let's go.
get in there.
And there we go. And we'll just get back in here. And how well did we do on this one? Why is that doing that? Ten, twenty, thirty. Oh, thirty. Forty. Fifty. Quad servo in a hard in a hard frame engine. That's nice. And I'll just grab that node and just call that good there. And then one. Go back one. And now we start extracting again. Another Sentinel Pillar, love it. about nanites for a little bit that's a six thousand right there plus four more sentinel, sentinel boundary maps that's even more awesome Sentinel boundary maps. I cannot argue with that. I can't. I really can't. <laughs> Woohoo! And I know darn well that thing will be back up and running soon enough. So, what am I going to do in the meantime? Well, I'm going to go do a couple things. Uh, number one would be uh, grabbing... Do I have any solar panel? Yes, all I got to do is do metal plating. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab solar panels. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And then we're going to link them all together. batteries which require me to go one and two three four and five now with the electrical wiring we go to the end one of this yep then we go boom boom
There we go. And how much are these gaining? Ooh, -hoo, I found a nice place for this. <laughs> I like this. All right. And now we go over here. And we're going to make a little porch. We are going to make ourselves a nice little base here. We're going to do alloy. We're going to do walls. We're going to do... Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, we're going to do one. We're going to go back here. Go here. Go here. Go here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go... Like, like, like so and like so. Alright, and now we've got to go... Oh, wow, I'm out of barite dust? Wait, that don't sound right. Yeah, pardon me a moment, I'll fix that problem. Can we uh, continue these ones? Yes, we can. Now, the one thing I need to do now is I need a frontage on one, two, then the roof. going to do here is we're going to do some ferrite dust grinding again. Okay. Um, Late, but thank you for the stuff. Thank you for the lyric, Sensei. module need ah four more metal plating uh two more actually that's fine
This, I think, is my dumb ball. Alright, so I think I did this for number two, which is my dumb ball. It is. Okay. So, the stuff I'm going to quick transfer out of here is all this stuff uh, I'm going to keep. I'm not going to get rid of that. It's been copy of continuum. Keep that. Um, let's see here. We need paradox. We need paradox just like that. It's business, but I can get that easy enough. Um, let's see here. So, this is the dump ball. So, we'll dump all of this. is now 100% under control. Sentinel Tower over there, which more than likely might be regenerated by the time I get back, so... Which might be tomorrow, but hey, that's not horrible. Um, space stations. Uh, the current system, yes, we're going to go here. Warp to the Ezra Speed. So, we are now going to go up the stairs, over this way, and talk to our spaceship guy. How's it going, buddy? My equipment insults you. It's better than probably the shit you have right now. Now, so you know what? Uh, why don't you hush up and give me my nanites? Thank you. And by the way, what else do you have? Your freaking upgrades insult me! So, um, did I have, uh, any other missions that I had on here? No, I have not. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do here is utilities, swap multi-tools, and go right back to heavy books. My old school, my, my old uh, multi-tool. Here we go. What do we need for my exosuit right now? Other than the six crystal sulfide I need, and I know I need to go into an underwater place to do that. Well, let's let's talk to this boy, see where he's going. So what do we got here? We've got protection modules. I'm going to test something. 
I'm gonna test something, and if it works, then awesome. Oh my god, they do work. This is not agreeing. Oh, wait, I know what it is. Well, um, well, at least I know that's working, but it, uh, at least now I know. That's a B hole, that's a B glass hole. Uh, I was wondering why those things were overloaded. No, they're damaged. They were damaged in the freaking Sentinel Wars that have been happening. Thankfully, it don't take much to repair it. As long as this place has got what I think it needs. I think it has. Yes, it does. There we go. Oh. There we go. Anything else repair? Okay. I'm sorry, folks. I gotta I gotta change controls here real quick. As much as this one's been working for me, it has been failing on other fronts. As you probably saw from my shooting when I was doing the uh Sentinel Tower, it was not uh, it, it was no bueno. It was no bueno. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go back to my other controller. Come on. There we go. So you're telling me that I can have one for ice, I can have one for fire, and I can have one for that. Yes, you can. We're now going to run back over here. Nailed it! Okay. So, we have a uh, radiation protection. We got... We have that. And we have a radiation. We don't need another life to work module because we've already got our three max. Alright, so. What we need to do here is we need to move this down. Ah! Makes more sense now. You know what? I got a better idea. I got a better idea. None of those are on supercharge. Well, 
I think I know what I can do to fix that. Uh, the first thing is to move my jetpack over here. The second, what is my best one out of all these? Uh, jetpack 210, jetpack 218, initial boot 7, initial boot 8. Sprint recovery time 42, sprint distance 46. Uh, yeah, that one's going next. Okay, so we have we have an extra cold and we have an extra radiation. Yeah. <laughs> that will make things a little easier. All right, so I'm um, at this point in time. Okay, so uh, we've got all that. Everything is all set here. Oh, one more thing I'm gonna do. Uh, for shade. Yes. Yeah, I need emerald and I don't have any. You have indinium and I have the gold for the heart. Uh, other than that, I don't have anything else there. That's fine. Um... Okay, so uh, we've got all that set, we got all that going, and we still have over 17,000 freaking nanites. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty decent for a couple of runs, that's for sure. So... Now, we're going to head back. we got a couple of uh, freaking bases. Uh, yeah, all your bases. So, uh, we have one over here. And they have that one. That's in the swamp planet. That is the hot planet. This is the one that I just made. Okay. So, I'm just going to go like this, pull my base yellow, and warp right back. Because, we are going to see what happens here. When I start working on upgrading the ships. Thankfully, a few of these, I may not have to do a hell of a lot to, lot to. So, um, the first one on the list, which is already outside and already waiting for me. But first things first, I'm going to, uh, go down to the ferrite dust and loot every bit of that, including the oxygen and the sodium. And why not? Let's go. Yeah. So now, we are still at a darn good amount of... Okay.
so. Looking at the few things that we need here for this ship. Okay. Uh, shields. Um, we're good with shields. Uh, the launch things. Do we have? Yes, we have all three. We need an idinium drive. I thought I had enough idinium. I thought I had enough to make an idinium. No, I need 250 emeralds, so I need to go to a green system. But once I get past that adinium drive, I'm pretty sure there is nothing else. Okay. So, and also I need more pulse engines. Any better pulse engines. And also I need some uh and also I need some better uh better hyperdrive mods. That looks like the best ideas I could do here. Alright. Well, that B is a key resonator, yes. And then that's that, there's that, and there's that. If I find any better Infernite Fix Accelerator upgrades, I'll grab those. But for right now, um, Hyperdrive, Lawless, uh, wait a minute. Yup, yup, and yup. Okay, so Launch Thrusters are good. Launch Thrusters are alright. Shields are perfect. Need better Pulse Engines. Well, better pulse engine upgrades. Uh, Infra knife is pretty much all set and done. So uh, let's just go. Um, let's move this back one. Let's move this forward. Let's move this back, and then go like so. There we go. Now we got enough room to get the hyperdrive stuff because I'm going to be needing. I'm going to be needing these. Because let's be honest, my hyperdrive range for my freaking uh, for my freaking major ship, my, for my for this ship is crap. So the reason why I came back here, however, is a couple of things. Number one is I was gonna go head back over to the anomaly, and then I realized, wait a second, I already have everything I need there. So, to the space station we go. We are looking for, at the moment, any S-Class... Well, we're looking for so any S-Class mods for the, uh, for the few things we need, which is the hyperdrive, the pulse engine... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the hyperdrive and the pulse the hyperdrive, the pulse engine, and yeah, that's pretty much it, the hyperdrive and the pulse engine. That is our plans, is to grab anything we can from those. And you have the Starship Shields and the th Launch Thrusters, which are the two things I already have. So, yep. Unfortunately, this is Strike 1. Unfortunately, that's Strike 1, which sucks, but oh well. Oh. Nope. Nothing there. Alright. A-class shuttle. Huh, yeah, an A-class shuttle. That's that's rather fun. Let's 
So what we're going to do from here is we're going to go and, uh, let's see here, um, space stations. Um, let's go... Yeah, I can't do anything on those ones. Let's go this one. Let's see what's here. So what do you have? You have a face beam and an... Okay. I will grab that infernite module. And the only reason why I'm doing that is if it's not better than what I've got in my ship, then it'll be good for the next one. Let's see here. Five, eight, seven, five, eight, nine, five, eight, ten, five, seven, nine. Yep, you're getting stored. That's good to know that I've got one there. All right. So, off we go this way. Okay. Let's go further deeper here. Let's go this one. Let's go this one. We'll just do a couple we'll just do a couple jumps over here, there, over there, over there, over here, over there, over there, over there. Sir. Well, you absolutely have jack shit. Good day, sir. Freaking low end ones had half of had one S class mod. This one didn't even have any. What the fuck? Um, let's go. Let's go to number station. We'll go. We'll go into the. We'll go into the Corvax. Uh, the Corvax section. And See if the tech works better. Ugh. Yeah, let's move this back. Alright, so. This is a mercantile planet. Well, we'll see what happens here. Then what do you got for freaking uh... Alright. 
Anything here? Nope, nope. Hey, pulse engine module. Well, good thing is that this 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 uh this ship needs one. Um, so much so, um, yeah, uh, yeah, get rid of that, thank you. There we go, 620, 6-2020, and this one is 6-2024, okay. So, what's the basic idea when you get when you get a nice uh, nice little upgrade like that? Well, um, that's simple. You go to this, you go to options and reload the restore point and let the freaking goddamn market reset and grab another. It's cheap, it's cheesy, but it still works. And that's all that matters. And I might do this for a few of them. Oh, another. Hey, navigation data. All right. And give me that pulse engine. Yep. And now we go back here. We will install this pulse engine right there. Now that one was 16, 20, 24. This is, ah, this one's different. This is 20, 25, 10. That gives me, uh, wait a minute. Is that just the same stuff? Um, yeah, boost maneuverability, uh, boost, boost maneuverability and efficiency. This one is boost maneuverability, fuel efficiency. No, it's the same thing. It's just uh, the maneuverability is a little better on these ones than these ones are. Alright, well, let's see what we're going to do with this. Well, you know what? I had an idea. We're going to buy a few of those. Anything that we don't have to, that we don't use on, like, say, this ship, or if I find any upgrades for the Yellow B or any of the other ships that I've got, well, then we'll go from there. Nope, that's not even... Okay. Engines, thank you. Oh yeah, that also reminds me. No, it's not. It's not a touchable one. Okay. So, um, we are now going to install that. We're going to hit. We're going to plop that down. Now, what are you? Maneuverability nine twenty fourteen. Nine twenty and six twenty twenty four. Um, what is your maneuverability here? Yeah, um, yours is twenty fourteen. Wow. Um, I'm gonna store your ass. I'm gonna store your ass. You're actually going to be uh, gonna be rather rather impressive here in a, in a little bit. So um. One more. Actually, we'll grab enough to get one more, uh, to basically get, oh, damn it, I did that wrong. Then load the restore, restore the restore.
Okay. Further back. Alright, we're gonna do pulse engine two more times. So pretty much the uh, so pretty much right now the uh, the pulse engines for um, Sigma Oblivion is done. Now it just depends on where I go next. Well, what ship I'm going to be using. The living ship, however, I need to grab the uh, the upgrades a different way. And I might do some, uh, show you how, how much of that I, you have to do, um, probably in the next episode, I'm, I'm kind of thinking right now. So, um, we will purchase upgrade modules, one more pulse engine, and there we go. And we're still at 13,000, but... The good thing about all this is, is that if I, it, the good thing about all this is, is now I have four more Sentinel boundary maps. So I can find another pillar and I can just grind the freaking points back, the, the, um, the nanites back up. It's not going to be that difficult. So we now have all the pulse engines done. Now we just need to get the hyperdrive upgrades, and one of them is going to be getting the emerald. But I can—I have a feeling I'll be able to grab that soon enough. Um, let's see here. Oxygen. Um, silver here, platinum here, and pure ferrite. Nice one. And there we go. And you know what? Just for the hell of it. Exosuit expansion unit. Low uh, low level hunting pirates for freaking five ion batteries. Yeah, no. And in fact, I'm gonna now go jump out of this system. I'm going to jump out of the system. I'm going to make sure the space stations are all selected. And we're going to go down to the low end. Um, the Rex Tribe Sphere. Let's go there. That should be way the hell out of all of nowhere. engines all looking beautiful. All we need now is hyperdrives. And also we need uh, enough emerald to make a iridium drive. Or a didium drive, whatever the hell you want to call it. That's not horrible. I'm actually going to grab that. Why? Because you never know when you're going to going to need a uh, shield upgrade from one of your other ships. And that just ran me over. I ran over by B class explorer. Good lord. Okay. So now we go back to space stations and uh, we'll find, uh, you know what, let's go here. Just doing random ones.
Excuse me. I didn't realize that I was, uh, that I completely forgot that. All right, well, there you go. Apparently, I totally forgot to pick up this one while I was here the last time. All right, well, that's fine. How's it going, sir? Let's see what you got. Launch thrusters. Yeah, why not? I know I'm going to have to probably have these for later, but... And we will roll back around here and that station terminal again. We are going to go down to... Yeah, why not? This one. Apparently there's a lot of Corvax. Apparently I've been through a lot of Corvax systems for some reason. Whatever. Go figure. <laughs> Get some more mods. We have a winner. Now, so let me look over here real quick. Nope. We have gotten everything there. Awesome. And now... Let's see here. So, Starship. We need hyperdrives. We have Cadium. Yeah, that thing can immediately get dismantled because it's about to get replaced. That's a little better. That's the Cadium, that's the Emerald. So, at this point, we now go back into this, go back into the ship, come back out, and repeat process again at least four times. Upgrade back down here. I module, yes, please. And then we will install that. We will put that here. 221, 248. Oh, love it. All right. And we just, wait a minute. That was all of it, wasn't it? Yep, 220, 221, 248. Yep, so that's all of them. So, if there's anything else that I need to upgrade on this thing, say like a weapon or something, um, yeah, I need more spots for it. But, as of right now, Sigma Oblivion is... Pretty much all set. So, bigger question is: is which one should I upgrade next? I know the next. I know next time will be our will be the living ship. I will be uh, working on getting the upgrades for that. But for now, we're gonna head back to warp. Warp to Puma Base Yellow. 
And we've got a couple of uh, extra upgrades we need to add to a couple of ships. Now, I know my Silence in the Storm Mark III needs a new fully up, new uh, needs a new full upgrade. I'm probably not going to use uh, my Silence in the Storm Mark III as for my as for my hauler. My hauler has its has all of its stuff pretty much all set as well, or at least the shield wise, anyways. It just needs a couple extra things to add on to that. So it comes to the point now, is that which ship do I want to use next? Um, there's always the hauler. There's my sauce in the storm. I could always upgrade that. Uh, that's my explorer ship. That is my living ship. I need to rebuild him later. Yellow bee, and uh, yeah, you know what? This is gonna be my solar sailor. Because by God, I have a feeling this one needs a lot of help. Yeah, it kind of does. I mean, look at that B breaking rank. Yeah, get that out of here. And also, it's not fully repaired either. Okay, so the shields go here. Um, we need a couple of the things, don't we? Yeah, we do. What we need to do here is get the infra knife accelerator all, all going here. We need two wiring looms, of course we do. Let's just sit that over there. Until Infra Knife Accelerator hits, we'll get that upgrade. Okay, so I need activated copper. So that means I need Extreme Storm System, and also I need to get more. I need to get more slots for this ship. Huh. Okay. So, let's uh, see what we've got here. This is... Oh, this is the Pulse Engine upgrade. Alright, so we will go... Alright, so, what's this one? This one is also... This one's also a Supreme Hyperdrive Engine. The yeah, Pulse Engine upgrade. And this one is also a pulse engine upgrade. I will adjust these later, but for now, that's still pretty damn decent. All right, so Starship Shield module. We will slap that right over here. And then we have one launch thrusters, which we will slap here for a moment, and then we'll slap it over here. So, that's not horrible. I did not have a warp drive on that. That's a, that's a pretty decent shield for that. But, unfortunately, 
I need a total uh I need a bit of activated copper. Which means I need to go to a yellow extreme planet to get activated copper. To at least get rid of that. So Well, I guess we have some uh, stuff for next time, I guess. Um, I think that's going to do it for this part This part here. Um, as with many other things, you can follow me on Twitter at Puma Oblivion. And you can find out when I am streaming on Twitch. A uh, link, uh, link to my Twitch page should be in the, in the description of this video here on YouTube. And uh, next time, well, we have got some, uh, we have some stuff to do for this one. But also we are going to work on the living ship. And I got to make sure I do my homework on that. So until next time, folks, uh, we will see you later and uh, have a great one. Bye.